All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to 10 New Brews. This is brew number five of 10, the halfway point. We got a cool one here for you. Of course, 10 New Brews is a show I, I, I play uh, new new decks in the new standard format, Frexy All Be One. First, hit that follow button, like, comment, subscribe to all the cool stuff. Brew with the most comments gets a redo. Hashtag sponsored by Wizards for putting the OU Access event on. That's all the things I got to say, I'm pretty sure. Black White Tokens, the Dominus, Mondrak, Glory Dominus, 4 4 for 4. It has the ability of anointed procession where it doubles tokens and it can also be indestructible. Uh, that's a pretty powerful effect, honestly. So we're playing a shitload of token cards. Uh, we got wedding announcement, obviously. We have the new bitter blossom here in Skrill of Love's Hive. We got Jadar, a card. One well, of my favorite cards, actually. I freaking just love this card. It's in my cube. Super awesome card. New card here in Varan, Executioner Thane. Whenever a creature dies, drain for two. Only once a turn, though. We got Elias for some triggers. Most importantly, honestly, I think is that we have Rite of Oblivion. Uh, which is honestly like just a very, very powerful card that's pretty hard to use. And this deck uses it phenomenally. Just an excellent, excellent removal spell. Uh, really, really good. So you get Rider Oblivion. And then we get some Planeswalkers here in Emperor and Soar. And they both make extra tokens. Uh, if Soar makes two vampires, I think you're good to go. So we'll try that. We got Rob Rousing on the top end, which can obviously get exponential with our uh, our Dominus. And we have two Platoon Dispensers. The card just really, really good. Uh, a couple veterans, a couple astronauts, gain a few life, and uh, kind of just do our thing. Make some blocks, make some attacks. Deck seems cool. We're going to try it out. Play five games, the best of one, as we always do. And the article on CoolStuffInc.com will go over all of the uh, all the details and specifics for the deck. That's tomorrow, February 3rd, CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. Let's get right into the games. Brought to you by... In the search for the ultimate weapon, knowledge is power. Introducing Draftsmith, your new secret weapon for Magic the Gathering Arena Limited Mode. Draftsmith helps you pick the perfect card every time by providing an in-depth rating for each card. These ratings adapt based on the cards you've already chosen, making sure you always stay one step ahead of the competition. After the draft is done, Draftsmith recommends the optimal deck based on the cards you have chosen. No more, win more. Download Draftsmith today from untap.gg. All right. Let's rock and roll. Hands great. Keep. Lunark into Elias into Wedding Announcement with Rite of Oblivion. Love it. Yeah, Rite of Oblivion's so good. Like, it's actually just so good. Right, chat? What do you think? So good. Epic. What's up? Wait, we drew a land, too? God. Bingo. So good. Here we go. Attack for one. Say go. Turn through wedding announcement with these two cards in play. Land or Lone Speaker? Sure. Oh, lands for days. Just the draws, the draws, the draws. Here comes our Death Toucher. Here comes wedding announcement. Make a token. Gain two life. Yada, yada, yada. We got double right for all your good stuff. Spencer draws cards. We're doing it so far. Opponent's like, yeah, you're doing it. Shit. <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Remember, folks, all these brewers. Oh, Shelly. We have no way to deal with that. Not not a chance. Oh, no, not Shelly. Anything but Shelly. We're going to write away the... Uh, we could do the veteran, honestly, and then just, like, flip it. Um, that keeps the most stuff in play. I think I want to make a token, though, and not, uh, not draw. I, mean, I want to draw, actually. Um, sack veteran and just flash it back, or just sack the token. The life doesn't matter that much. I don't think we have to do this thing, too. I'm going to do that. Let's sack this. Let's kill this. And flash this back. And then do I want... The question here is, do I want a card or a token? Uh... We're playing Platoon Dispenser. I need to have two other creatures. I think I want the card. Yeah, I think with... If I didn't have this in play, I think I'd want the token. But I think I want the card here. So, draw a card. There's our... Ooh. Our Glory Dominus. Cool. And now we have the ability to... Uh, here's Glissa. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're, uh, we're on the nuts here, basically. I don't have our... Oh my god. Our hand, it would be difficult for our hand to get much better, actually. Um, we can Dominus here. We could sack two things. We have Instructable if we need to. We also have, we can just Platoon. We can Rabble Rousing. 
Uh, our attacks aren't great, I guess. So Rabble Rouse is a little iffy at the moment. Uh, so is it Platoon just draw a card? Is it Dominus make two tokens flip and then have the ability to protect it if we want to? We could Dominus this turn and then Rabble next turn. A lot of options. We're going to do this, I think. Should I play this? Attack for one. So I, want, I want a token this time. Dominus versus Glissa also. It's cool. Attack with the this thing. And then... Do I want to sacrifice the tokens immediately? I don't think so. Because I kind of want to block the Glissa. I can just jump it, I guess. Flip that, triggers, and say go. And next turn we have Rousing Trigger too. Oh my god, so many tokens next turn. So, do we block Glissa? It is first strike and death touch. Uh, so it's pretty hard to beat in combat. And then if it hits me, uh, they can draw a card, just go an enchantment, or move a counter. Um... Jumping, it's one less thing. I can't... I don't want to block and then Dominus... Activate Dominus. They, 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 can, they can just kill it response. So we don't want to do that. Um, we don't really need Wedding Announcement because, like, we're just going to Rabble Rousing anyway. So it's not like we need it. And, like, having the token in play might be good if they kill something else. Because we all want to have five things in play. I think I just let this happen. Um, they have three cards in hand. I guess it's fine. I think that wedding festivity isn't very important on this board. It's very important to folks when you consider your plays to like think about what's actually important in the game. And like the crusade here doesn't really matter that much because we have Elias and Rabble Rousing. So Festivity can't unflip, correct. So they have trespasser for right of living, which is fine. Whatever. And then a sleeper. Great. So now we untap and I'd like to draw a land, I think, so I can activate the uh, Dominus also. We're about to get like 20 tokens here. So we're getting so many tokens, it's actually unreal. Brew Bankbuster? What, do they have a fight too? Bushwhack? So this sucks. So I, I sacrifice two things here to keep it alive. Sure. They, they take two, we gain two. I have a sketchy play, honestly. Like, kills two of my things, but like... I mean, now I can't rousing them, but like, it's still pretty good, so... Uh, land, rousing... I can rousing, but like, it's not as good as I want it to be. Uh, another rabble rousing? This isn't actually that good. Let's get the... Uh, this thing. Executioner thing. And then we'll just, uh... Attack, attack. Let's see our place stuff anyway. Attack. I don't want to trade uh, Elias for a sleeper. Kind of want it in play. Eh, whatever. Sure, whatever, sure. Fine. Wait, what? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, my that's my fault. I I, I screwed up. In in my mind, I had shortcut a rabble rousing to attack with five creatures because that gives you ten tokens. It's it's you have to have ten tokens. So I didn't I didn't need to, uh, I didn't need to attack here to activate it. I, I didn't think we were activating this here. I screwed up. So now they're, I mean they're not they're not doing well. <laughs> uh, my that's my fault. That's that's okay. Not even a new card, but whatever. Uh. And now I can, like, sacrifice stuff to... Uh, shall I, I'm just gonna die, so... Sure. And then we'll sacrifice this thing and kill them. Pretty good first game. Not too shabby. Uh, a little sloppy. But not too, not too shabby. So, yeah, I, I misread this as attack with five creatures. It's obviously just, like... I shortcutted it to that because when you have five creatures in play, if you attack and get five more creatures, it triggers. But with the Mondrak, you don't need that many creatures because it doubles it, so... All right. Uh, sure. One, two, 
No token maker, unfortunately. Token makers are a pretty important part. We do have the the three bitter blossoms and the three the three jadars. But rabble rousing. Okay. Give me the old Elias here. Bong Jun, what's up, my friend? Thanks so much, appreciate it. Very kind. Kind words. Thalia. The hive. All right, hive suite. I'm in for a hive. I'll pay whatever you want me to pay. Played Adeline. There's a lot of threes. Um, maybe. Adeline is pretty good. Steel Seraph. Sure, whatever. Need to make some sketchy life twists to grow up and be a flesh merchant. You're not wrong, honestly. All right, so we're going to write away the Steel Seraph and just say go. Kill that. Say go. Missed the land drop here. That's obviously not good. Thalia is pretty good against pretty good, pretty good, pretty good against us too, unfortunately. But uh, kind of want a double block. Nah, that that falls to too much stuff. I mean, like they can't emperor actually. They can. Uh, what can they actually have here? Um. Yeah, Ganjo is like... Ganjo's pretty bad. Alright, let's just not block. Let's draw lands too, you know? It's not too... God! Oh, this is fine. Sorry, this is fine. This card's terrible against us. Good. I'm glad. Uh, so, there's Vindicator. Unfortunately, the... Uh, the Thalia is screwing us up a little bit here. So, we can't play our, our right back. Uh, but... It says... Prince damage, death touch. Play the jar, so they go. We draw land, but we're not playing red. We, we, every time our opponents cast this card, we play we playing mono red. Basically, we just can't kill it, which is really frustrating. But now we can kill it pretty easily, so it's fine. In for five, short. And we're gonna untap and draw land, please. Please draw land. Come on. Whatever. Um, we can't gain a life here, right? No wedding announcement. Oh yeah, we, we gain a life on the end step, but I have to attack, and then they get to kill something else too. Now, if I, I attack, and they just, they just kill this. Um, yeah, we're just dead. That's a frustrating game. Kind of like not cast right, I guess, and just held on to it. I gotta pay a life to cast announcement. I have two pain lands in play. Um. They just don't me too. That's fair, also. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're dead. That's. I know that's a pretty annoying game. Whatever. Sure. I mean, like, it should be fine, but whatever. All right, let's go. Ugh, that's a pretty bad hand. We're gonna mulligan this hand. Four drop, four drop, five drop, two lands, some mulligan. A Watsi employee. Damn. Everyone, don't don't say anything bad. We're just the, just playing some magic. We're good. Mirix. We can keep this. Sounds good. We just like ship the Lunark veteran, I think. Um, yeah. It's the weakest hurt in the hand, so. Play this. There you go. It's fine. Yeah. Is there a mode for an animations, please? It's not their fault, obviously. Here's a Rot Priest. We're going to Jadar. Sakura, what's up, my friend? This is like... Hmm. We need our blocker cards, unfortunately. Um... It's a real dick move. Sure. And then no attack? This can't block. All right, so play this. Just gonna write, I guess. We're like pretty, uh, I mean, Mulligan here, don't, don't have, have very many spells, but I'm gonna write this, sack this. That's the third counter too, which sucks, but. Then we play Dominus next turn, and then we have the Mirrix to make tokens also. I think 
got the hive. We have wedding announcement. Sick. All right, so let's play Dominus. Land three. Stop killing my shit! Rod Priest, sure. Man, I made double Soren tokens too. Soren's so bad by itself too. Um, we can like wedding draw here, I guess. Yeah. All right. Let's say go. Wedding first. I mean, like, it's, I think it was better. I don't know they have faithful absence, you know. Like, how many kill spells can their synergy, their synergy deck play, you know? All right. You see, man, they have they have a pretty good draw here. Jeez. Okay. Uh, we're taking a shitload. We draw a wedding announcement. Okay. No blocks. Take a bunch. We're now at five. Poison. We draw Soren, Ashnod. We have Rite of Oblivion, but what do we even write? Like, the Hive, maybe? Watsy employees always get good draws. All right. Um, flashing back right is pretty hard on this board, honestly. Soren making a lifelinker is... And then Ash nodding is not bad. Because the 2-3 blocks pretty well on this board. I'm in for that. So let's do Soren. Token. Ash nod. And say go. They have still have four cards in their hand. Alright, sure. That's pretty good. Um, and they're just, they're just coming in? I'll hit it for them if they, they, they commit to the attack. I mean, they have to have a pump spell here, obviously. So, let's... um Here, here. Pump or, 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 protect, or protection spell. I'm gonna do this, I think. So take our sixth poison. They play a pump spell. It's our seventh poison. Hopefully we kill the rot priest. Oh wow. Okay. We're just trying to go like nuts so wide. Let's draw off Soren. Sick. Let's play. My way. Obviously, Sleeper's pretty bad if we're going to kick it. We just want to, like, play it, I think. Just play Wedding Announcement also. All right. Just, like, play some shit and say go. And pretty sure we, do, we, get, we get two tokens here, and they're both pumped. We get tag, I think. Got a ways to go here, but... And now, like, our tokens beat their tokens, which is pretty good. So we're gonna attack, honestly. This card's dope. There's the old bloat bloat. We'll write that one. Draw Jadar, also. Sick. Let's, um... Now we have the Might, the might Land, too. So we can go this thing and Jadar. Awesome. Um, don't want to make a another token. I think I do. So let's attack. Let's make a token. So I'm out of order sequencing or whatever. Play this. You can deal with my Target this. Sacrifice a human. And then get it in the air. And what are they at? Twenty-five. So we have four blockers for their four attackers, which is great. Sorry, five blockers. Didn't draw a card. I want tokens here. Great. 
The third hive? I thought we're of a token deck, all right? Kill the Planeswalker, sure. Will not abandon my quest. Draw planes, all right. Let's draw two. Draw one, I mean, sorry. They're at 20. I mean, we're turning the corner like pretty damn fast here, so. I kind of want to token my sense act, so. We're at six poison. They have six attackers. One, two, three, four, five, six blockers. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. We're not getting blockers. I, I punted. Uh, we, we might die here. Actually, yeah, we, can, we can't. Let's say I have a way to give it double toxic. We don't die, but that was a huge punt. I just forgot I was getting no counters from these or no, no tokens. They are dead next turn, I guess. They are dead here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We were one short of killing them, so. So, draw, draw. They're dead next turn. Oh, they, I forgot the ball. I, I punted. I punted again. So many new cards, folks. It's a lot to take in. If you want to watch Perfect Magic, Perfect Magic, go watch someone else. Uh, I forgot the Bitter Blossom effect. So, they were dead, yes. Kill me. Can you punish me? I don't think you can. Maybe they can. I don't know. Hate poison? Can't punish me. All right. Bella Chucker, eh? All right. So, a little sloppy, but... Yeah, these decks are definitely cool. There's something, something here for sure. But, yeah. So, a little sloppy. We take the win, which is good. Um, yeah, sweet. Play bad? Win anyway. Damn it. <laughs> Another two lander with a bunch of five drops. Oh, we got a mulligan, us, unfortunately. Mulligan down to... Sure, sounds that's good. Keep this. Ship the old uh, Elias thingy. We want to go... Jadar on two or Elias on two? Uh, they both act for two, but this text. I think it's this thing, I think, honestly. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get both triggers, too. So I'll get the death trigger and the, the ETB trigger, so. Teamer Oil. Cool. Um, I mean... Just gonna fire in the old attacks here. We have Dominus next turn. We are a little short on cards on the Mulligan, obviously, but block here, take one. This dies, lose one. ETB gain one. Is Mirix that good? Yeah, you're not playing it as a mana fixture. You're playing it as a as a, a utility land. The fact that it mana fix is just like also awesome. Is it, it doesn't screw your mana as much. Noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you. Oh, hello. Don't worry. Sahili, eh? Over... It's a bold Sahili. Um. Brilliant. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. One thing you note is our, our our channel lands are so good in this deck. So we have so many legends, like, incidentally, which is awesome. Um, do we kill Sahili here? I think we do. We're going to lose our, our our Pilgrim, probably, but I think we got to kill Sahili. So, I think we should, get, we should get it back with this thing. So, let's, uh, let's attack. I could do this and kill Sahili without losing Jadar, probably. And then get to... Yeah, actually, maybe I'll do this. I thought with all three, and Sahili's guaranteed dead. But probably just, like, single block Jadar and nothing else. So, yeah, let's, let's keep our Jadar in play. And if you want to single block both and keep Sahili, it's fine. Because it doesn't even do anything, so... Play this post-combat to get double token. We're going to keep Sahili alive? Cool. Alright, so we go second main. That dies. We play this Murix. play this Dominus. And step gets two zombies. ETB twice. Love it. We got the Dominator. Okay. 
Okay, what's going on here? All will be one. Let me put one or more permanents on it. Uh, player player. This card is good Planeswalkers, I guess, but sure. So they killed my thingy. It's fine. Cole, reset up. Thanks so much. Mascor says, Hey, Jam, love your Phoenix Drakes. Phoenix with Drakes and Explorer. Have been watching you play. Crafted it myself. Can't get enough growing. Yeah, I do love I do love that deck. That is, like, a super fun. All right, so we're going to uh, definitely kill Sahili, obviously. We're going to attack them. I might... I'm going to stack these tokens to our Dominus. Give me indestructible. And then we have uh, a two-man attack Anuma. Um, two mana attack Anuma. I guess you do everything. That's kind of sick. Let's start attacking Anuma and see what happens. This costs two, right? Yeah, two. Uh, so attack Anuma. Reveal Soren. Oh my God, so many good cards. Um, I think I want Soren. Honestly. With the Dominus in play and Indestructible. Soren making two vampires is pretty good. Yeah, so we're going to stack things. I know, I know I know how it works, folks. I get it. Um, I can also just play the Varan. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Soren. So we'll combat. We're going to kill this and attack them. And then we will uh, do that. And then we're going to sack these. We should tap all, use all the mana. We now have an indestructible Dominus. They take some damage. They're at six. With them being at six, maybe I should have gotten the, this thing, honestly. Put them to four. I don't know. I'm not sure. So, whenever counters are put on things, they deal that much damage. Storm the Festival. That's pretty good, honestly. And they're going to exile a card from the graveyard. It's also very good. Deal one to my Elias, maybe? Uh, Alright, I mean, Festival away, I guess, right? This is not a legendary enchantment. If you sack if you sack if you use up, it's pretty nasty. You get a Wandering Mind and a second copy of All Be One. Which doesn't actually do anything because they uh not putting counters anywhere. And they get a Luka. We draw a Platoon Dispenser. They must chump block or they are dead. Uh I guess they could block here and go to go to two, but um and then do I platoon? Let's see the Luka. So the Luka they can minus and deal damage, but like they can't kill me, so. Hmm. Yeah. Nothing we can play can live here, honestly. Uh, it's kind of gross. Um. We can kill them with sack. I guess the Soren. We sack two things. Yeah, actually, you're right. We can just do that. So, we Soren. We make two vampires. And we just attack. And now they have to block the this thing or we're dead. And then that's not that's gonna kill them. All right. So now we just sack these. So, bang, 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 bang. Cool. Kind of a cool deck, though, honestly. Pretty cool. Two lands. We're going to keep. Oh, uh, we draw land, but. What set is my, my favorite art? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> honestly. Um, Innistrad, maybe? It's cool stuff. Draw land, please. Want to draw land? Want to draw land? The question is, do we Jadar or Hive on turn two? They play an Esperland. If we play Jadar, it might just die. Um, I think it's Hive. Yeah, let's try Hive. 
Let's see how Hive goes. Nothing. We draw the land. Bingo. Yes. All right. Um. Just gonna go for it. They have a. They have a freaking uh, whatever. It's whatever. They don't. Here we go. Splash up Fable tokens. Fable is very good, obviously. Um, you could play Fable into that for sure. Man, it's not great, but draw another land too. God, we're killing it. Um, don't want to draw a card and make a token. They play a land. Oh, this is not fun. We're just gonna wreck them. <laughs> um, all right. Let's just draw a card. Uh, okay, sure. Eh, you're up. Rabble rousing. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Kaido? Sure. There are many secrets I don't know, but not for long. Now, what do we have here? Discard a Kaido, plus I play Emperor, make a token. Kaido, not so good of a sport, I agree. Untap. Make a might. Get a Rabble Rouse here. Oh man, it's Rabble Rouse time, folks. Get your Rabbles roused. We have a Platoon Dispenser or a Executioner thing. I like Platoon. Wait. No, I'm wrong. I lied. I lied. We're one short. Sorry. My bad. I got excited. We're too short. We're way short. We're not even close. I can't even do basic math. Jeez. Anyway, your turn. Early access. 10 new brews. One brew, five of 10. Welcome. So that's a confusing card, right? There's a lot of shit going on. Look. I have like 45 power in play, right? Y'all complain too much. Can I get it again? How about this time? Whee! Terra, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Essence Scatter. You got it. It's been scattered. My essence is everywhere. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know what was going on there, but it's cool, you know, whatever. TV's cover up. Cool. All right, so four and one, right? That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good stretch. This thing seems sweet, honestly. A lot of really cool stuff happening here. A lot of powerful cards. Um, Gix better than Platoon Dispenser, maybe. Uh, Gix is like I don't know. It's a lot of life loss, honestly, compared with the, uh, the the Bitter Blossom, also. So definitely a cool deck. I would say so far, maybe the best, maybe the coolest deck we played so far, honestly. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, I mean. Well, two hundred thousand might be too much, honestly. I, I could buy that. Um, you could definitely splash Fable in this deck. The mana would be bad, honestly, because like there's no Triome for Mardu, uh, and there are some like kind of stinker cards in this deck that are like synergy cards that can maybe not be in the deck for sure. Uh, but yeah, right Oblivion's the fact that this deck is a cool synergy deck that is playing one of the best kill spells in the format is a really really good place to be. Aside from also just playing a lot of good cards as well, like Emperor, Wedding Announcement, and so on. Dex Gas. Like it a lot. 10 new brews. Brew 5 in the books. Brew number 6 is coming up. YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one, folks.